Welcome to part one of our lesson on graphing equations by plotting points. In example one, we want to use the equation y equals one half x minus two to complete the table below and then graph the results. So looking at the table, notice how we're given the input values or x values. We want to find the corresponding output values or y values, then write the ordered pairs and then plot the points on the coordinate plane. Before we find the output values, notice how all the input values are multiples of two the reason for this is, if we look at our equation, notice y is equal to one half x minus two. So because of this product here where we have one half times x, if we want this product to be an integer value, we want the input values or x values to be multiples of the denominator. Notice how our denominator is two and the inputs are multiples of two. If we had one third times x, we would want the input values to be multiples of three. If we had one fourth x, we'd want the input values to be multiples of four and so on. So looking at this first row, we have an input or x value of negative six, which means y would be equal to one half times negative six. And because we have a fraction here, I'm going to write negative six as negative six over one and then minus two. Now we want to find this product. Notice there's a common factor of two between two and six. There's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. So we have y equals, this is now just one times negative three, which is negative three. Then we have minus two. So the corresponding output value or y value is negative five. So when the input is negative six, the output is negative five, which means the ordered pair is negative six comma negative five. Now going back to this product just for a moment, remember we can view one half times negative six as half a copy of negative six, which is equal to negative three. So we can also think of these products in that way. The next input value is negative four, so we'd have y, the output, is equal to one half times negative four, or negative four over one, minus two. Again, we have a common factor of two here. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. So we have y equals one times negative two, which is negative two, minus two. So we have y equals negative four. So when the input is negative four, the output is also negative four. So the order pair is negative four comma negative four. Then again, we could have also thought of this product here as half a copy of negative four, which is negative two. The next input is negative two, so we have y equals one half times negative two, or negative two over one minus two. So we have y equals one half times negative two means half a copy of negative two, which is negative one. Or simplifying, we have a common factor of two between two and two. There's one, two, and two, and one, two, and two here. So we have one times negative one, which is negative one, minus two, so we have y equals negative three. So when the input is negative two, the output is negative three. So the ordered pair is negative two comma negative three. The next input value or x value is zero. So we'd have y equals one half times zero minus two. So y is equal to zero minus two or negative two. So when the input is zero, the output is negative two. The ordered pair is zero, negative two. The next input is two, so we have y equals one half times two or two over one minus two. Well, one half times two, we should recognize would be equal to one because these are reciprocals, so we have y equals one minus two, so y equals negative one. So when the input is two, the output is negative one, we have the ordered pair two comma negative one. The next input is four, so we have y equals one half times four, or four over one minus two. One half times four means half a copy of four, which is two, we're showing the simplification, there's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. So we have y equals one times two is two minus two. So we have y equals zero. So the order pair is four comma zero. And the last input is six. So the output is going to be y equals one half times six, or six over one minus two. One half times six means half a copy of six, which is three. We're showing the work there's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. So we have y equals one times three is three minus two. Y is equal to one. 
So when the input is 6, the output is 1. So the ordered pair is 6, 1. Now let's go ahead and plot these points on the coordinate plane. So we'll first sketch the horizontal and vertical axes. So here's the horizontal axis for the inputs, and here's the vertical axis for the outputs. Notice how the inputs go from negative 6 to positive 6, and the outputs go from negative 5 to positive 1, which means we'll be fine if we scale the axes by 1s. So on the horizontal axis to the right of the origin, we'd have 1, 2, 3, and so on. And to the left of the origin, we'd have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. On the vertical axis up from the origin, we'd have 1, 2, 3, and so on. And below the origin, on the vertical axis, we'd have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And now let's plot the points given by the ordered pairs. The first ordered pair is negative 6, comma, negative 5. So because the input is negative 6, we'll move to negative 6 on the horizontal axis. And then because the output is negative 5, we'll move down 5 units to here, where the output is negative 5. So the input is negative 6, and the output is negative 5. And that's why this is the point with the ordered pair negative 6, comma, negative 5. The next ordered pair is negative 4, comma, negative 4. So we first go to negative 4 on the horizontal axis, which would be here. So the input is negative 4, and the output is negative 4. So from here, we'll go down 4 units to here, where the output is negative 4. So this ordered pair is negative 4, comma, negative 4. The next ordered pair is negative 2, comma, negative 3. So because the input is negative 2, we start here on the horizontal axis. And because the output is negative 3, we move down 3 units to here, where the output is negative 3. The next ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 2. So because the input is 0, we're going to be right here at the origin, where this is 0 on the horizontal axis. And then because the output is negative 2, we'll move down 2 units to here, where the output is negative 2. This is the ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 2. Remember, whenever the input value is 0, the point will always be on the vertical axis. The next order pair is 2, comma, negative 1. So we'll start at 2 on the horizontal axis, where the input is 2. Because the output is negative 1, we'll move down 1 unit here, where the output is negative 1. The next ordered pair is 4, comma, 0. So we begin by going to 4 on the horizontal axis, here, where the input is 4. And because the output is 0, we don't move up or down. The ordered pair 4, comma, 0 would be this point here on the horizontal axis. Remember, any point where the output is 0 will always be on the horizontal axis. And then finally, we have the ordered pair 6, comma, 1. So we move to 6 on the horizontal axis, where the input is 6. And because the output is 1, move up 1 unit to here, where the output is positive 1. So now we have all the points given by the ordered pairs plotted on the Cartesian plane or coordinate plane. Now, because our equation is telling us why the output is equal to 1 half times x to the input minus 2 for any input x, we want to go ahead and sketch the graph of the line passing through all of these points. So this would be the graph of the equation, y equals 1 half x minus 2. Any point on this line would satisfy the given equation. Now before we go, let's take a look at this on the graphing calculator. To check our table is correct, we can enter the equation y equals 1 half x minus 2 into the calculator by pressing y equals. And then because we already have y1 equals, we'll just enter 1 half x minus 2. So 1 divided by 2 is how we enter 1 half. And then here's the x key, and then minus 2. Now before we go to the table, by pressing second graph, let's go to the table set by pressing second window. Notice how right now the table is going to start at zero, it's going to change by ones, and it's on automatic, so we can scroll up or down in the table. So if we press second graph, we can scroll up to negative six and verify the output of negative five is correct. And now scrolling down, here's the ordered pair negative four, comma, negative four, Here's the ordered pair negative 2, comma, negative 3, followed by the ordered pair 0, comma, negative 2, and so on. Now to verify our graph, let's adjust the window or the scale on the axes to match our axes. So we'll press window, and we'll change the x min and x max to 
let's say from negative seven, enter, to positive seven, enter. The scale is by ones, and now we'll do the same with a y min and y max. So we'll go down to y min, enter negative seven, enter, seven, enter. And now if we press graph, the graph should match our graph, which we did by hand, and notice how it does. I hope you found this helpful.